Are you saying that you had people actually try to lift some silver from you? Yeah. Recently? Yes. It's getting worse. Too many people coming in picking up things. And, um, yeah, I discussed it with the police. And they said, oh, well, don't shoot anybody. How you doing? I'm doing excellent. And you said you'd be fine being on my channel. Yes, sir. <laughs> I'm actually from Quebec. I'm, uh, I, I lived in Colebrook in Pittsburgh, New Hampshire. So you noticed my hat yes. right away, right? Yeah. One of my uh, subscribers sent this to yes. me. Yes. I think Tim just sold you a sticker, right? How much did you charge him for it? Oh, geez. Uh, I gave him a good deal because he bought a quarter ounce uh, eagle. Quarter ounce eagle. Yeah, I'd let him have that sticker. You would have to, I'd have to charge. There we let go. Let me take a look. Oh, nice. Wow, is that your first? My Ooh. first, my first gold piece. Yes, sir. Wow. Yep. YouTube is uh, is unbelievable. You learn so much about anything, really. Yeah, yeah. and when I found out uh, about silver and gold and stuff like that, it's like I didn't know really where to go because there's so much there's so much scamming going on out there. Yes. And uh, it's very true. Uh, and so I. I finally got involved. I actually was buying stuff from New York, and I fell in love with it. It's like, you know what? This is fantastic. And uh, I found this guy. Yeah, I need to come and see this guy. <laughs> All right. Hey, speaking of scamming, Tim, oh, man, they are attacking my channel like crazy. And let me just tell people right now, I don't use Telegram. I don't use WhatsApp. Guys, you, you got to be very careful about the scammers out there. On Instagram, on YouTube, they can mimic my channel. They can mimic my, my, my logo. They can even spoof my email address. You've got to watch out for them. So many people are contacting me saying, Yankee, I got scammed. I, I thought it was you. Mm. Please be careful. All right. Thanks again, man. Appreciate Thank you. you being on. Oh, no, no, no. talking about the guy I, that brought all the I sterling in. So I wanted to buy him. You wanted to buy all the sterling that one of the guys brought in. Just the you know, iced tea spoon. That was a great one. That was my scrapping video where he showed how to scrap it and turn it into three nines fine silver. Oh, yeah. Yes, I have another customer who was, when I was looking at the sterling, he held a couple of other pieces up to the camera, and I have another customer who wants those pieces. The dish? No, they're the... Um, uh, Jerusalem Village. Yes, I remember those as well. Wow. See how observant your uh, following is? They are watching everything. Yeah. Right? The thing is, is it's not that I want to sell it. It's the fact that it's there, it's available, I have savings, and it's very liquid. Um, but it doesn't mean that I want to sell it. Um, the thing is, is that a lot of blue collars, the jobs are slowing down. A lot of buildings have been slowing down. And... I myself um, work in steel. I'm an iron worker, and all of our imports um, haven't been from Canada. Um, there's not a lot of steel that's U.S. made. A lot of it's China, and um, we haven't been able um, to work with high-quality materials. There's a lot of jobs that are slightly sketchy that a lot of business owners won't even bid on. Um, so I've been out of work for a couple of weeks now because of things slowing down. So silver's essentially been my saving grace at the moment, even though I don't want to be selling it. We've been getting everything from China because everything's a lot cheaper and, um, jobs have essentially haven't been, um, what's the word I'm looking for more s safe because of the quality. Mm -hmm. Um, we can't trust that a building's going to last 200 years. It could collapse with cheap materials like that. Wow recession we're in a recession you're feeling it i feel bad that you have to sell your silver but i'm glad you have some that you can sell well, thanks <laughs> yeah, oh. i'm very glad about it too oh, like i said it's definitely been a saving grace especially um if the dollar bill isn't going to be worth every anything mm -hmm. and people are going to be living paycheck to paycheck silver and gold is definitely mm -hmm. going to be a good backup plan for a lot of people what is it that you have today are you gonna um Honestly, it's um, 10 ounces of silver that I got to liquidate so I can pay rent this month. <laughs> wow. Hey, thanks for sharing that. Man. Oh, no worries.
um, he said that steel imports were going to be eventually from China. And I didn't believe him because I'm like, we make steel in the U.S., you know. But the Tim said that in a prior video, right? Um, that yeah, eventually we're going to have to resort to Chinese imports. And uh, granted, he doesn't like the fact. And I didn't believe him until I actually saw a giant beam that was, and somebody was asking me, what piece number is that? Where does that go? And I'm like, it's written in Chinese. I, I couldn't believe it. It's quite sad that we don't have buildings made by America. <laughs> Once again, Timmy called it. Well, it's, um, you know, they shut down all the steel mills in Europe and the aluminum production because it uses too much energy and they need that gas to fill the tanks so the people won't freeze to death in the wintertime. It's a bad situation. You know, they, they didn't listen to Donald Trump when he was over there. Okay. He said, we can ship it over here at a competitive price and fill your tanks and we've got plenty. And um, now we don't. We don't have plenty because that has been shut down. Is this a story you've been hearing? People needing to get their cash and selling their silver? Um, yeah, for a variety of reasons. And, you know, I've, we've been feeling the pinch like everybody else because everything else is going up dramatically. We just got a delivery? Yeah. Nice. These guys work too hard, you know. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Have a great day. You too. And that's the beautiful thing about um shopping at tim silver and gold shop is because you know it's always fair you know it is always fair and uh yeah if you're interested in tim's info it's in the description of this video all my tim videos have his shop he doesn't have an online store for a couple good reasons but he will take orders he will ship out so you yeah, yeah, filming me take uh, playing with my favorite machine yeah, that's your favorite machine. Yeah, that is my when the money's coming in. Yeah, not when it's going out. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Tim. <laughs> hmm, too many. See, that's why I use the machine. It catches you. <laughs> Silver has been trying to make a comeback. You said. Uh, well, it was up quite a bit. It turned around. Hmm. Gold. Still Negative. Well, gold was at 1677. Yeah, I saw that a little while ago. And now it's at um, 1658. Okay. It should be 205. Okay. All right. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. It's, it's, uh, it's very flaky, but I'm, I'm a little concerned about the, the time it takes to get some of this stuff. And I don't know what's in that one. Well, that's, that's the silly thing about, um, I keep forgetting her name. It's a um, woman who's the, the head of the uh, European Parliament now. She's fairly intelligent, although she said the profits that these oil and gas companies are making are wrong. So we're going to tax those profits. What yeah. don't they understand about that? You know, people are commenting on this last video, Tim, saying they know exactly what they're doing. Exactly. This is an, this is a concerted but effort. How can, how can people listen to this? This is a, a speech, national, national television throughout Europe. People say, wait a minute. Taxes fall on me. You tax those companies, their, their prices go up. What don't you understand about that? There's a group in Boston that shut down streets. They snarled traffic because they do not want any more fossil fuel usage, period. That's so stupid. Everything comes from, from petroleum. I Everything know. does. But they want it shut down and stopped. And this is this is the mindset of the leftists, Tim. They, don't, they know what they're doing. This is a concerted effort to cause disruption to change the order of things, to be in power, to stop the status quo, to push their agenda. So did anybody push back on them? Well, they, they, they put it's, plastic it's wrapped on their the wrists and walked them These people off. should be handled gently. It's past that time. You know, if somebody needs to make up a comprehensive list of all, a list of all the uh, petroleum derivatives and every product that comes from petroleum and put it in their face, say, okay, you're going to live without this, okay? We're going to put you on an island where you live without any of this.
including cosmetics and, and uh, pharmaceuticals and everything else, okay? And see how long they last. Oh, it's raining and you want to put on a raincoat? Where do you think that comes from? How about the sheriff down in Texas who, who uh, says, these people can get jobs. You know, we need, we, we're short 10 waiters in this restaurant alone. We, we need, they can do those jobs. Really? Well, then why don't you offer them citizens? See how many citizens you really won't take those jobs. I'm not here for jobs. We're in government handouts. And, you know, so that they can uh, push the products of the uh, major cartels. They've opened up on this side of the border. Yeah. They don't care if 100,000 people die. As long as they get to sell their product. What did we get here, Tim? Well, the way it's wrapped up, it looks like gold. Oh. That's good. Small parts. Small parts. Yeah. <laughs> don't sweat the small parts. Well, it looks like American Eagles. Well, at least I have more American Eagles. Look, oh, this sticky. Yeah. Mm. Gold Eagles. Very cool. You notice all these boxes aren't here anymore? I noticed, yeah. You have an empty floor, or a relatively empty. It's never fully empty, but they're gone. They're gone. Uh, they haven't gone to the owner, but they're, they're out of sight. Too many people coming in picking up things. And, um, you know, I discussed it with the police. And they said, oh, well, don't shoot anybody. So I said, okay, I'll just have to move this stuff. I do have a, um, a thumb drive that has uh, a few characters on it. A few characters? Yeah, it says uh, security system. It's a, a tape of a couple of bad actors. Oh, for you to keep an eye out for. Is that no, it? it's for me to give to the police so they can run them down. Hopefully with a car. So are you saying that you had people actually try to lift some silver from you? Yeah. Recently? Yes. Um, what? It's The thing is they don't realize that this is a great system up here. You know, this is a high-def sy system. Yeah, up there. Yeah. So um, I mean, we had one case where a guy handed me something that was stolen and the the uh, officer was upstairs and if they're looking at the video and he said can you blow that up and i said sure so i blew it up and he said i've seen that tattoo before i know who that is mm. it's that good it's a good system um but you know, the people think that they can get away with anything um and you know the the routine is i take the video over to the police if they know the person they'll pick them up um if they don't know who he is, you know, the, his picture gets around. Uh, if he gets stopped for a traffic violation or something, or he gets in a little fight in a, in a bar somewhere, um, then they hold him for as long as they can, make his life miserable. Mm. But. Well, I'm glad you moved the silver. I'm smart. Yeah, it's, it, it was, yeah, it was just, just, it's getting worse. And, you know, I, I feel very fortunate I don't have a store in New York City um, because they get violent first and then they take your stuff uh, down there. At least they haven't been getting violent here. But um, I'm on the verge. So you're, one of these times, I'm just not going to stand for it. You're on the verge of what? Um, you know, uh, taking action during the the time that somebody picks something up and you know it's under one guy i chased out there i mean i didn't chase he was getting in his car and i said you need to come back in the store and i didn't want to make a you know a spectacle of myself and he just looks at me and he backs his car up and i walk to the front of his car and i say you need to come back in the store now i said i videos going to the police and so he looks in the street, he sees a couple of cars coming down, obviously, and he pulls out in front of them, goes in the second lane, so I couldn't see his license plate. Um, 
So they know what they're doing. But um, the other one, I mean, you know, it's it's turned to go out the door. I noticed exactly he'd taken something, and um, that guy could definitely outrun. But the police don't want me to take any action. They they want me to just turn the videos over to them. And that's what's on here. You said, yeah, video. But it's 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 everywhere. I mean, you know, in, in San Francisco, they can break into a place, you know, smash the doors and the, the cabinets and take everything. And with impunity, nobody, nobody does anything. Yeah. Um, it's not getting that bad here, but it's it's tending in that direction everywhere. And uh, it's not just not right. No. And I, I think. Um, you know, making a wholesale change in November will definitely help because um, there are all these people who are funded by guys like George Soros um, who don't process criminals, uh, criminals, period. And, you know, and they, they don't intend to. But uh, the more the more crime the, the public has to suffer, um, the fewer people they'll be able to get in power like that. And in Illinois... They're letting them out of jail by the droves. Well, there's a guy running for the Senate in Pennsylvania who wants to let one third of these people out of jail. We could, you know, everybody's going to still be safe if we let one third of these people out of jail. What do you think they're in jail for, fella? I mean, are they frenziers or something? In the list of crimes, I was looking through it, at least in the Illinois one, was was shocking. Yeah, they were actually violent crimes, second degree murder. And we're well, it hasn't been out. convicted yet. It's only if know. someone who's let out uh, threatens or attacks those in power that pass these in stupid laws, they would have a different opinion on it. They might point. have a different opinion. Or I'm family. not sure they're smart enough to have a different opinion. Oh, man, I think you you underestimate the left's intelligence i think sometimes tim they know what they're doing they're trying to undermine i don't think the sharp people are in this government though i think these people are just following an ideology that's been handed to them and you just look at all the inconsistencies in biden's speeches um, i don't consider him in the sharp category <laughs> no i don't either but i don't think, think their their speech writers are very sharp either because they contradict the things he said yesterday you know, mm -hmm. and um, so wait, are we going to come to Taiwan's aid or aren't we? I mean, he said this last week, he said this today, they corrected it this afternoon. So what's your real position? Well, they're our friends, man. No, you said that about communist China. Well, they're our friends, man, too. <laughs> I don't get it. We're going to back in that conflict. Yeah, you know, uh, let's see the, the the little country that's an island that can't defend themselves, or the big country that has uh, nukes pointed at us. Tim, you're breaking the seal on that. What if somebody uh, no, wants to was, buy the was, whole thing? It was already broken. Oh, okay. There's only half full too. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I just these things are so annoying. Yeah. I should probably have more important things to spend my time on, but these these uh, little labels kind of. Get my goat. If I had a goat, that would be. You don't have any goats? Don't have any goats. Yeah. I was thinking of getting some, uh, some chickens. I ran that by Mrs. Yankee. She looked at me like, okay. I said, look, I got the coop right here. I know how. It, it's a great hey. all in one. I can, yeah, I can. She wants to know who's going to clean the poop out of the coop. That, <laughs> that's exactly right. That would be me. <laughs> uh, Listen, when I bought my property, it had been a turkey farm. And, um, boy, do they a lot of, leave a lot of poop around. I'm recording you, by the way, if that's okay. Yeah, that's fine. Who is this? I watch out. This is Ronnie. Hi, Ronnie. Yeah, I watch out when I'm done on uh, YouTube. <laughs> and the Yankee Stacker, I'm watching all that. I'm just a beginner right now. I'm just trying to find out, find my way. Do you have any other uh, one-tenth ounce uh, dough? 
Uh, I do. I actually have, um, I think we still have one from Australia. I have one from uh, South Africa. And then I have a whole lot from the United States, from American Eagles. Yeah. Okay. Hold on me one. I will hold one for you for as many months okay. as you want. Um, thank you, Dave. Thank you, Dave. Bye-bye. You know, I'm getting a sense that there are a lot of people waking up in this country, but um, I don't know how much the deck is stacked against them. That's, that's something that really concerns me. Um, they say that they're going to bring down inflation. Well, no, really, you can't. By adjusting interest rates, you're not bringing down inflation. It may hurt the uh, housing market. Uh, which has already been in decline. Um, it's not going to help anybody who has an adjustable rate mortgage. Uh, so who are they helping? They're not bringing inflation down. If they want to bring down inflation, they need to revive the uh, petroleum industry. That's the only way to bring it down. Thanks a lot, Tim. I okay. really appreciate it. Have a good one. We can't have enough. Of what? AR-15s. No disagreement there, Tim. <laughs>